Hello, Beer Fest fans. Greg here. I had a request online to do an explainer video on my beer pong table with two 3D printed red solo cups. And so here it is. Uh, it sits there on the play field. You get to it by shooting the ball up this ramp. And after you've had enough fun on the upper play field, I installed a flipper there, a custom 3D printed horseshoe ramp. There's a couple other targets there. And six lights that light up Drinko. Uh, these bottom three have optos there. And when the ball rolls over, those lights light up. And these two are controlled by this target. And this eye is controlled um, by a ball that can circle through that horseshoe ramp. After you've had enough fun on this upper play field, the ball will finally make its way down here into that trap and fall into either one of these two, like I said, 3D printed cups. This table can rotate 180 degrees. It's connected below the play field via a servo. You can hear the servo going back and forth there. Or it'll be at this position if you have two balls locked. And I printed a little protector here to protect the electronics. You can see the optos. Um, the two receivers right here and on the other side, oops, I've got the transmitters. Those are all wired up to a circuit board with resistors and whatnot. And the wires all go down uh, the shaft of the table, which it's hard to see, but there's a hole in the play field there. That goes below. And I printed a little white mount to help stabilize the table. Uh, connecting to a servo motor, it was a little flimsy. Uh, so, I don't know, maybe I could have used a stepper motor, but I decided to use a servo motor. Um, but that piece definitely stabilizes it, so it doesn't really, doesn't really shake as it used to. So the first ball that falls in gets locked because each of these cups have a little lever platform that goes across the bottom and you can see there that the lever is connected to a small little 24 volt coil that's mounted to the table as well and let me get a tool that can I, I can easily show how when that coil activates it pulls the lever back and that is enough room for the ball to fall through. So when I want the game to release either one or more balls, I just fire that coil. That moves that lever, ball falls through, the optos will no longer detect a ball there and play continues. Balls will come out here and need to install a one-way gate there but it's pretty hard for the ball to get up there right now after a lot of play tests. I haven't had that um, happen yet, but I'll probably put one there just to make sure. And yeah, that's about it. So this guy rotates 180 degrees based on however many balls you have locked and whether we're releasing the balls. All right, so I hope that was helpful. It's been fun to make. I've gone through couple revisions with this. Uh, I used to have a vertically opening trap door, kind of like what you would think, you know, when you're walking on your floor and a trap door falls through. That caused some problems because that was putting a lot of force onto the shaft of the solenoids that I was using. And after a while, it would actually bend the shaft of the solenoid. So this design is a lot better, a lot more reliable and should last a while because the other side of that lever it's kind of hard to see it's not focusing is sliding in some grooves that I had 3d printed so it's a little track there so this is much more reliable all right well thanks for watching